Crass and what they represent are attacked politically from all sides. The right see them simply as criminals out to destroy the existing structures of society. The left see them as hopeless utopians, deviationists, nearer to a bunch of bandits. As for the authorities, they don't like anarchists in general because they're unpredictable. You can never tell how they're going to react to a given political situation. Safe, so long as their aggression expresses itself in music, for example. Dangerous if they decide on some kind of direct action against authority. Today, or during the course of LBC programmes, that the Attorney General has been asked to prosecute an anti-Falklands war record under the Obscene Publications Act. Here's a sample. Well, Conservative MP for Enfield North, Tim Egger, says... It starts off, the last song starts off with the words, You shithead, slimy, got it all. And then it gets worse from there. A British punk rock group is claiming they're behind a fake tape recording which fooled the CIA. The American intelligence agency thought it was part of a Soviet disinformation plan. Here's Andrew Parkinson. The genuine voices of Mrs. Thatcher and President Reagan... Through the crackles, he seems to be saying he'd fire missiles at his allies to keep the Soviets back behind their borders during a war. You mean Germany, Mrs. Thatcher incredulously replies. But it's all a fake made by punk rock group Crass. Band member Andy Palmer. We cut up two speeches, one of Reagan and one of Thatcher, and sent the tape anonymously to the continent with a covering note saying that it was a recording of a crossed line. The tape came into the hands of the CIA, who studied it, and then issued a statement saying it was part of an increasingly sophisticated Russian disinformation campaign. Now the CIA is clearly embarrassed by its mistake, but why did Crass do it? People know that governments are corrupt. People know that governments are violent. We did the tape to show that they're also small-minded, petty and stupid. For the CIA to issue that statement shows just how petty they are. Now the group's touring the states, giving interviews about how easily they fooled the West's largest intelligence network. It's crass! It's mosh! Yay! It's called Punk is Dead, but I don't believe him. Let's go.